Hey, what's going on, guys? It's uh, John Shea from the Voices of Marketing podcast. Uh, today, I'm here to show you a tutorial on how to use VodBurner for the PC. Um, VodBurner will also work on Mac, but uh, I've heard that if you have a Mac and you're going to be doing Skype recording, your best bet would probably be to look at Ecamm Recorder. I haven't actually used that solution, but I know uh, a lot of the big name folks, people like Andrew Warner of Mixer G, David Seitman Garland of the Rise to the Top, those folks all use the Ecamm Recorder because they own Macs. Um, so if you're going to be using a Mac, I probably wouldn't recommend VodBurner, mostly due to price. Um, VodBurner for the PC, though, uh, great solution. It's probably one of the best, if not the best, out there for Skype. Uh, I made another video on Pamela for Skype. That's a cheaper solution. But the problem with video recording with Pamela is it doesn't actually do side-by-side -side video. It will only record on screen. So, like, say I call somebody else. It'll have like a little portrait photo of me in the bottom right and then the other person in the big, big picture. Um, it's going to record it just like that and that's how it's going to re record the actual call. With VodBurner, it actually takes recordings side by side. So it will take one clip of the other person's screen like, you know, in full resolution and then one of mine. Um, there are some disadvantages to that though that I want to, you know, I'll explain as I go through this. But um, the application itself, pretty simple. Um, just like I mentioned in the Pamela tutorial, there were some issues with Skype integration that were supposedly going to be coming in a Skype update um, last month. Uh, at the time of recording, it's January, so this would have been in December. They were supposedly going to be changing around the API and removing the capability to integrate some of these programs like VodBurner and Pamela and Ecamm Recorder. But uh, Skype decided against that. So if you see any warnings about that, don't worry about it. It's not really a problem. Um, in terms of VodBurner itself, the application is super simple. Um, it's literally just this little drag window. Um, it'll tell you what you know while it's recording. Um, anytime you start a call or somebody calls you, it will automatically start recording. Um, you can change options in here, like whether or not to. I think I'm actually not 100% on this, but I I don't know if Vodburner has it. I know when the call starts, it warns the other person to let them know. I think you can actually choose whether or not to tell them or not, and it'll send them a message through Skype chat so they know, okay, the call's being recorded. Um, you can look at previous calls and convert them to different file sizes or formats. Um, I don't have any in here right now. I literally just did a clean slate to show you guys this. Um, it monitors your disk space. You know, you can see, okay, do I want to do large files with best quality, medium, small, and do you want to directly you know have them turn into mp4 files with no editing um, pretty much the only way I was able to get this program to work was using the setting uh, I'll be completely honest with you I'm, I'm I actually bought this program it's a hundred dollars now uh, I think I got a discount on it through a coupon code I think I got it for like 70 or 80 but the first one of the very first interviews that I did I actually lost a recording through this because something happened it just crashed Skype and I lost the whole recording. It was like a 40 minute conversation. It took me two months to get the guests back on my show. Um, if you're doing just audio, uh, this might be, might not be a bad solution. Or maybe if you're a little bit more cautious with, you know, testing, like test this thing out, do some test calls with your friends and make sure the recordings are good. Um, make sure your Skype is up to date. Uh, I've had issues with the same program, having mis mis mismatched versions of VodBurner and the actual version of Skype that was causing me problems. Sometimes it would crash the whole Skype application and VodBurner. So make sure everything's up to date. Um, in terms of the actual recordings, I mean, this will work great. Like if everything goes smoothly for me, um, I started using Google Hangouts and that's why um, if you'll look around in the Podcasters Paradise membership area, there are some recordings uh, in there for Google Hangout tutorials, which is what I currently use. Um, it's free and it's just very easy in terms of the recording, but I'm not going to discredit VodBurner because Skype's a great platform and that's kind of what everybody's using. You know, everyone's familiar with it. If you reach out to someone to interview them, that's what they're going to assume you're using. You know, people aren't really as used to the Google Hangouts yet. Um, back to, I guess, really the uh, talking about VodBurner itself. Um, they're going to give you an idea like, you know, right now I've got 250 plus gigs free. Uh, they're going to show you like, little bit of stats about your uh, recordings. Um, there's not really, you know, there's some stuff that you can configure in here, but it's pretty limited. Um, you can set up automatic recording, um, some audio stuff, camera recording. 
And one of the big things here is if you want to do editing, um, you can record directly in MP4, and it shows you here that you know you're going to save a lot of disk space, you're going to save time because of the production of the video. But then you can't edit, you know, you can't edit your videos, so that could be a real disadvantage. You know, if somebody decides to swear or something, and you don't want that in your video, um, that's obviously going to be something you'd have to go back and use something like a Camtasia to edit out. Um, the quality isn't going to be as good, and uh, you're not going to be able to record group video calls with more than two people. Um, so there are some advantages, disadvantages to using this setting. Um, I found the production, I, I couldn't get anything to, to produce with this particular application if I did not use the small setting and just have it directly do MP4. Uh, I think I did it a few times with editing, but I really don't edit a lot in my shows, so I wouldn't find it something you necessarily need to do. Um, in terms of starting up, I guess I'll give you a really quick demo um, and hope my Skype doesn't crash on me. Let's see. I'll be right back. I'm going to go down the hall and answer that on my tablet. All right, so as you can see, um, here's the message that comes up. Vodburner's recording the call. Is the other party aware that the call's being recorded? If not, you should tell them. So you can automatically have this message show up. This is what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Uh, you can say, send message. So that's going to send, you know, if I bring up my chat. Um, I don't know. Apparently, there's uh, a warning if you heard that error noise coming up. Uh, Vodburner is complaining about the video quality. So like I said, I've kind of had mixed results with this program. Um, I don't. I, I, I want to say I recommend it, but I've had some difficulties, like I said. Uh, it's not a terrible solution, but I would kind of go in with a, you know, a trial basis before you buy and make sure it's something that you want to use. But uh, yeah, thanks for checking us out.